I think that should make it pretty obvious what we're playing. Oops, I can't skip any of this. Yeah. Hello everyone, and welcome to Prey. With all its warnings and stuff. Just a sound for recording purposes. Because I wasn't going to do this one. For recording, this was going to be for my own stuff. But for some reason, the sound is actually pretty loud for this thing. Like, I'd load the dialogue to like, hey, stay loud, load it. So it might still be a bit loud. For some things, for other things, not so much. But yeah, it was. This is gonna be, you know, not something I was gonna record. But after the fact that my Halloween plans didn't exactly go right. Because at first I was gonna do it at dead of night. Because I figured, you know, that wouldn't be too hard to record. Oh, it was. Because I'm not entirely sure what engine it uses. I think it might be some Java variant. So perhaps going to record it. And the options for that game were pretty terrible. Like, Q slash W was where you controlled your sound volume. Q and W. I... I don't even know who does that. And the worst part is, it didn't actually control your sound volume. I had to use the volume engine to control the sound volume. Yeah, that's a thing. And then there was in Sound Mind, which I've actually uploaded a video for, as of now. Which details why I couldn't complete that. Because it would decently minus the fact that it was mostly running at 10 FPS. But I couldn't jump properly. Like every time I'd go to jump it's like the character would stop then jump. Like he'd be sprinting and then stop jump. Like that game has platforming elements at times and it was such a pain because unless you jump at like the very agile, one pixel jump. You couldn't make half those jumps. Then it got stuck in a section where it was like, oh well, this is just too far and you can't make the jump, so... Yeah, I just gave up on it. Because I was stupid. So everything else should be fine. Hopefully. Controls. Tag. Examine. Jump, snake, psi abilities, menu close, focus mode. I don't have a crippled weapon, don't really need it. Stuff. I don't know why those keypad buttons. And a numpad of all things. But yeah. What's gonna bother me though is like going to examine things, like, you touch the screen, and then you have to press F, or you, you have to touch it with your mouse, but then you have to press F to use anything on it, like, can I just select it with my mouse? Doesn't make sense, really. Subtitles, all that should be on, I don't want to get vibration, but anyway, pray. Game came out in 2017, so it's actually sort of in the years where I can actually run things. Oh, so there's new challenge modes and stuff, yay. Like Prey Moon Crash, it's sort of like a roguelike thing. We might look at it when we're done. There's also New Game Plus, which we probably shouldn't do, because we haven't finished New Game yet. But anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna replace that one. Yeah, I'm sure. There's a the thing. No. Because, you know. 
the whole game reveal mode. <laughs> Cause yeah. That's the thing they do anymore. Cause yeah, there's easy. But then there's game develop I mean game reveal mode. Which is basically hey, you don't really have to do much, you could just look at things and it'll be fun. Give us a good reveal. Yeah, we're not doing nightmare. We're doing normal. Normal sounds fine. Also, because apparently people like suffering, they have to add these things to games anymore. This is Sam Option of Mind Brothers made the game more challenging. Also, can that be changed beyond the screen? Not recommended for inexperienced players. So basically, you could have weapons that wear down from use and environmental hazards. They would jam periodically. Cause, you know, that was super fun in System Shock, wasn't it? How your weapons could jam, and then you were pretty much screwed. Cause, you know, everyone loved that in System Shock. Also, as new trauma sizes in the game, such as bone fracture, concussion, hemorrhage, and third degree burns. Cause, you know, why not suffer? And then oxygen, your damage causes zero to leak or suit, limited you know, air supply and environments from us. See, that one actually makes a bit of sense. But no, we don't need that. Also, we could be male or we could be female. I'm not sure why it really matters. But still more than you. But I like the way male. Morgan lurks, to be honest. Just looks constantly annoyed and pissed. Which is fitting. Which is fitting. Anyway, you wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. I mean, that's not that far off, honestly. About 11 more years. But this was also that whole alternate history stuff where we apparently went to into the space age or than we did. Things are more advanced already. And yeah, loading the screens. Cause you know how much I love loading the screens. Here's the thing, I'm pretty sure I have to actually press a button. But I think that's also loading. <laughs> I had to wait for the press any button to load. Wow, that's a thing. So I pushed in. Good button. morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. It's still loud. I can't hear the music. What? I am by the way for your auto bonuses. That was that. Hey, yeah. Morgan. Wake up. How are you still loud yet the music wasn't loud? Like seriously, I feel like the speech volume I need to set down to lower than sound effects for some reason. You're burning daylight. You said the helicopter to pick you up. How are you still out? I just took you down. It's just a few ten. Wow, that now that is a thing. Like. Normally, I've never really had a game that did this. Well, I had to set the speech volume lower the music. 
That's a thing. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. But still, wow, that is just weird. Like, like we turned the mirrors down so low I didn't actually hear it when it started. But wow, like, I always need that, like, I don't know, five. That's how loud it is, compared to everything else. That's crazy. Alright, gotta get used to F instead of E again. So now he has a suit. Yay. We also use plastic tubing. A burnt circuit board. I forget if it's worth picking up all this or not at the moment. But we're gonna take it. Oof, there's also pizza. That can't seem to open the box. Also, we can yeet things. We can yeet things. No, we can barely yeet things. But later we'll be able to yeet all the things. Um, I'll take it. I'll take it. So, apparently we know a paradox. I mean, our password. We can touch things. And the reading. Yay, the reading. You know how much I love reading. Yay. Alan Morgan, so glad to hear you're becoming aboard. Your first official work day is Monday, March 15th, but first we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Sign times ahead. Have a good flight, and we'll see you soon. Thomas Tucker, apparently. Eh. Alright, I'm pressing mouse. F. Hey, I sent in a package of everything you need for the first day unit. Form, transcribe, and neuromod. Install the neuromod right away, as we'll be running some tests first day in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. I just got the phone with Mom and Dad, and they won't be there when the show departs. They're New York company stuff. But they send the best. I think Mom's a little disturbed that both of children are going to be outside of gravitational pull at the same time. Said you better behave and do everything in your bid process. But actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there. So get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. So, out. Right. The bottle's empty. Yeah. What do you mean I blocked? Yeah, I can pick up the chair and I can eat the chair. Eh. Not much of a eat. And don't we let Uh huh. But working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you'll be able to construct any silver circuit. Thomas Edison once said, To vent, you need good imagination and a pile of junk. Fun times. That was about why we could save a game now. Oh, since it's a new campaign, they got rid of my old saves. I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. We go to quick save. By the way, nowhere in options in the control. Does it say that you, the stuff for quick save? Like, here's quick loot. Here's quick select. Nope, does it say quick save anyway? By the way, it's what you think quick save should be. It's like F5. Some games change that to like F4, or F6, but still it's F5. Oh, is there tragic screens? Oh, that stuff. Yeah, we don't exactly need to order it some things. Oh, so we don't have enough leverage to be able to pick up and eat a couch yet. 
yet. The door's jammed. I can't go outside. What part of you you could learn? I continue to map him. Magician on the level of Einstein and under ten minutes. I'd say you're full of it. That's the first that crosses my m mind. But if I... But rivers... It rivers in the face of Howard's huge convention. Despite myself, I'm riveted. Not bullshit me. Himself? Maybe? Me? No. How seems back in tail. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. Try. Right, soon we've already applied the Neuromod. Oh yeah, by the way. Just cause. Gotta save that for the electricity. Warning your mod should only be a minute if I certify transform technicians under controlled conditions. Such a maze and slight discomfort swearing a redness in the eyes shortly afterwards. Move your mod from vacuum sealed container. Press rubber eye eye cup firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. Keep eye open. De depress urge release sugar and continue to hold Neuromod against the eye for five minutes. That sounds painful. It's both of you to Neuromod in. Provided biohazard bag. That sounds painful. Oops, I'll take those. Nothing. Closet door. Not much I can use in hell. Fish. I don't even see any fish in hell. Maybe it's not supposed to be fish. Maybe it's supposed to be a herb garden. I mean, I could take those. So a stove. That's the only one I could turn on, seriously. Can I turn on the sink? I can turn on the sink. Then water effect. But I want to turn off the sink. Oh, it turns off automatically. Never mind. Let's see stuff. Gluing chicken skin to salmon will actually protect the outside of the salmon from overcooking. Cooking. Meat glue, apparently. Cooking with wraps and using and walk can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the flaccid surface are like stored memories of the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before. Now, pouring echoes of their rich flavor to every new meal, and it's task is task to cook. Indeed, indeed. Oh, control hill. Which... I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that the controller's a bit uncomfortable. Just a bit. Like, just a bit. Yeet. Stuff. More stuff. Stuff. Oh, there's a family photo. I mean, look how serious we all look. Like, like we just look like, we look like we're part of a mafia family. That's how it looks. Yeet. What is this? Galactic. Conquistadors. Nine. Where is it? Adults only? Is that the rating? Ooh. But how do I. Eh. Some Monday, March 15th, 2032. Nothing I could really do here. As a sink. Ties I can't have. 
shower. Not much I can do with the toilet, but flush. There's a light switch, though. Um, stuff, 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 stuff. Oh. I mean, why not? Oh god. Maybe that was a mistake. We'll wobbly now. Um... Come with me, lamp. We have a venture to do. I said adventure. Adventure. Fish. Eh. I said. Eh. Game's on to my bullshit, isn't it? Morning, Mr. Yu. What's up? By the way. Quit messing around. No. Yeah. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Yeah. Not a good time. Oh, I won't mess around. I don't even know what happened to the light. It's just somewhere <sighs> now. Stop it. No. You'll have to take the elevator. That has become part of you now. Oh, I guess the lights bounced all the way over there now. Floor 45. Locked doors. Anyway, let's go take the chopper then. Nah, that's best we don't think about. N nah, that's best we don't think about. Anyway. But we need a helicopter. It's pretty. I wonder if it's possible. Is it possible? Oh. Yep, it's possible. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies I all the way. That's a nice view on the bay there. Uh-huh. I get what you did there. To make us look at it and see that. By the way, we we didn't need to go this way. Like here's the building right here. We were like what? Over there or someplace? Place over there? There's those buildings, so yeah, we're like over there. But we started. And now we're over here. There's a prey. Just in case you forgot what we're playing. Now. Oh, there's Here we are, Mr. Yu. Mind yeah. the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. 
And don't jump into, you know, into the helicopter blades. Uh, yeah. Just wondering if it was possible to see the discrepancies yet. Hello, Buck. Hi. I'm a civil 495 science class operator. Well, now you sound too quiet. Like, the, the sound volume just does not make sense. Like, this one. Wait, where's the sound? Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. Like, she sounds too low. Forget the... The helicopter driver. The pilot, I mean. Sounded fine. What? Who designs the Welcome, audio levels? Welcome, Morgan things? You. You have a... 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. But that's fine. 100 floors, eh? Didn't seem like that tall, honestly. Morgan! Finally! See, he sounds fine. Maybe he just has a loud voice. By the way, they specifically made this so you couldn't take these chairs and yeet them around. Because they know that I would be a dick. I can see every square. Nope, can't take them. I can, however, do this. Where is it? I guess I can specifically climb up on top of it. Yeah. Now let's hope I can climb up now. Anyway, what's up? Hey, you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Good old chum, you see you here. I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. We can't go in, sadly. Oh, so there's this right here. Dr. Yu. It's just, you know, a little bit dirty in hell for such a high... Facility doesn't look a bit dirty. I oh, yeah, know that. I'll be able to take this and yeet it. Going right, into the testing rooms. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. See, now he sounds too well. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I can raise this up to like seven. That's a fine. Music seems fine. I don't know why volume. All good. Speech is great. Problem. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay. Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. So. Wonderful. Yay. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. I'm absolutely fine, apparently. I can't... I can't save during this sequence, either. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Um, Take your time. Relax. Think it over. How? There's no, a I'm kidding. Right you now. only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. H how am I supposed to hide in this room? Look. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. Yes, that's what I'm hmm. doing. Uh, any synaptic register at all? No? 
I was like, even the camera can't see me because I'm hiding behind the Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. We're doing marvelous. Uh, apparently I'm doing marvelous. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible. I feel Without like you should have had a Half-Life 1 go voice for actor. Press the red button when you're ready. Gordon, press the red button when you're ready. Eat. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. Hi. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing oh. fabulous, actually. I'm doing fabulous. One last Not my fault. Let's step okay. into D. Eh. By the way, this one's this one's pretty great. If you can, someone get me a cup of coffee. I would appreciate it. Thank you. Focus, Thal. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for Focus, me, please. Focus, Thal. Sit down. The whole point of this thing is to distract Wonderful job. you, the player. Take a look at the screen in front of you. But remember, I'm going to show Focus, you a series of Thal. questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Just so long as you guys are focusing, now. Plan for vacation, go somewhere from area you know uh, you love, or try something new. Probably familiar, honestly. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sensitive for your actions. How does this make you feel? Meh. Totally worth it. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Apparently. When running train is bearing down five people tied to the track, you can cause the train to switch tracks. But that was one person tied to the second track. So basically it's the, it's this s scenario where basically do you sacrifice the one to save the many? I mean, five people versus one person. Good. Next. I'm trying to spend with down five people. You're staying on the platform. That's an enormously fat man. Pushing him to the track would stop the train. Wow. That's a... How would that stop the... Well, I guess we do that. We save five people. Almost done. I like this one. When the track is bound down, five people touch the track. You could stop the train by jumping into the track, but you would die. We could jump into the tracks, but we could also do that. You know what? I'd probably do the same yeah, thing. Yeah, I know, I know you would. Wouldn't well you? done. Well done. By the way, we're nearly you watching? Through. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. Look at it. In that. a moment, I'm going to ask you what. Uh. Am I talking? It's empty. Oh well, that's not good. Eh. And then we will pass. Still. The thing is, most people probably didn't. Notice it just spawned though. They were focused on the test. But yeah. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. We're doing this. I was like, there should be music playing from that. Why is it though? Then there's that. But it's expecting the same message. But by the way, there's some discrepancies. First thing we put on our suit though.
white die. And now well, they took all my stuff from my inventory. Dicks. Oh well, I can take it back. I think this is everything. Your yeah. city mouse. Danger leave now. 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 Well, at least we know there's danger. And we should probably leave now. So use the closet door. Wait, why can't I use the closet door? Right. Huh. There's I said some discrepancies. over here now. And the note, congrats Morgan. That's all fine. That's still fine. Bathroom's still fine. Right. So the whole leaving thing, right? Did I loot this one? There we go. Well, that's probably not good. Oh, I have a flashlight. A very red tank of a flashlight. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Well, I can't really do that now because the hallway is missing. But we can do this. Yeah. So, yeah, by the way, hi, Fish. Fish wasn't real. I hope garden. Ugh. The herbs might be real. That wall isn't. That might also be real. You also can't really damage the these. Ah. For obvious reasons. You could potentially break the game doing that. So doesn't look nice out there, but guess what? Fun times. Fun times. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Let's see. Daily test. I hope you've been. Fan branches are for our main product line. You know that sometimes we need to put an extra effort to hit our milestones and then yet certain risk or fully taken into account win. These decisions are made. The move to ascend indefinitely was a dread request for both Alex and Morgan. This point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to gain useful results. That's to say, nothing of the long term damage will likely affect inflicting from the constant no mind insulation removal. Can we get why we were saying the tests indefinitely? Oh, I knew, no, this morning's incident. 
No. I know this morning's incident has that people shake. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. Station 1 announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Alice or her security team are on high alert when we will fail to request you have. Now, some of you worried about Dr. Bell when he's currently being treated in the trauma center in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to the project. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Well, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Apparently the pigeon finishers have been disabled due to a glitch in the render. Okay, uh, still makes the pigeon noise, though. Oh, so get used to bopping things. Because this game is very much about <coughs> bopping things. Oh, to the Louie. Absolutely. <laughs> it's very much like, uh, what we're Bioshock Infinite with a hole. Don't bother with the subject. There are signs for simulations. Progress do not enter stage unless you constantly do not in interact with the subject off script. Always reset the position of stage props in apartment after each test. Places for damage props can be found in the storage area. Go for not to bump glass when in the pursuit of uh, observation zones. Ever drop to right looking glass secret should only be reset in the overlooking control room. Make sure to clear the rooftop of any stray objects during the simulated flight. Or to join the helicopter to its ready position after being service. I feel like everything we did is pretty much simulated. Like, how we could take these? Just a st. Right, it's prop area. Ooh, toilet paper. Is the toilet paper a prop even? Remember the rule, bop everything. That's why. The hell to go. No sales, where to go? It just yeeted away. That's why you bop everything. Alright, get back here. Right. Then be mimics. They turn into objects until they're ready to attack. Just like a mimic would. Minus the fact we don't have treasure chests. That's the wall. By the way, warning. Do not patrol our simulations in progress, because now we're over him. Then we can go over hill, to the other side. Yes, by the way, your wrench. The fastest heavy. Tristan and Lou Panda wrench are standard for all maintenance personnel employed in transfer facilities. Good for liberal attribution because of maintenance and mechanical agitation. Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> Sorry, just, you know, testing. Out of that, that's a thing. Hut! <laughs> 
Oh, here's the thing. I forget where you get this. I've done this, actually. To the password computer. Red now. This is just a friendly reminder to the open portion of the policy handbook. Do not put your password on a sticky note. And that thing. Test results today were well negative. Did you install the credit now? Well, I'll check special grades if you go on. Well, this should be your absolute priority. Yeah, I forget what I'm supposed to find. This. Because there's a safe hill. And we can't hack the safe, because we don't have hacking. There's a store where they go over stuff. The safe code is... yeah. But anyway, I actually know the safe code, because I've done this before. The inside is... Plans for a psi fabrication. A psi hypos, inside of materials. And that. Boost the amount of damage done by super thermal. Pretty sure this one's random, because the last time it wasn't that. Don't think anyway. The problem though is we can't add to install it because we don't have that yet. But still. Not sure exactly where you're supposed to find it. Maybe if you hack the co now that one makes sense. Oh no, maybe it's on this. And this entire task is the better in the of fabrication marker. Now that didn't help. But yeah, I definitely remember that one. So anyway, as usual, we continue on. Cause... Oh yeah, so here's the thing. Did this make sense? Yeah, that, that was the same floor. Oh. Right, now it has to change to, yeah. See? Now it's our floor. Change the numbers, move the wall. Makes sense. So here's the helicopter drop that we died to. Here's behind the scenes. Keep booping things, because you never know if something could be not something. But then we've established that. Now we continue onwards. Because, yeah, that whole helicopter ride, you didn't really go. Because, like, yeah. <laughs> Let's go from over here. Oh yeah, we're totally going down the outfighter. Yeah, we totally reached. See? Oh, I can't. I still can't pick up the chairs. Well, that makes me sad. But yeah, that was a te test facility, which... I believe I have to actually go poke here to answer, to enter. Take that. Same email, the same email that was sent out to everyone. Utilities, the rooftop entrance of the testing facility. So we can change it to the flag. That. Yeah. 
five times. No, it's a test management. Of course, we reset the test. I see you in there. Now, can I go in? calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Yeah, one of these people. I'm gonna go get though. If you see something that looks a bit out of place, you should probably loot it. Also, some things we can't loot. Because we need certain things, like just mattering and other stuff. And there's that. Our citizens requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst of the debrief. Pinning a psychic out of animation now it's indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan, nor do we grant it. Morgan we forgotten everything from the last test inspected. The crest response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drift before future tests. Debriefings and within the test itself. That's why things didn't seem right. They're still <coughs> it. Okay. Just have to, you know, check that. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? Oh, by the He's way. He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Do, 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 do. That's the way we need to go. But we can go this way. Ah. Uh. You know, I thought that seemed a bit sus. <laughs> Which guy? Dick. Good luck on our step. That's a problem, right? Sneaky things, aren't they? Still there's an arrow. So we can change this. To look like, you know, the echelon roof. The hotel's roof, basically. And the looking glass replaces itself. Going to go back to the transfer roof. Seems to be having a problem with this looking glass, doesn't it? Nope, never mind, there it goes. Turn it off and we can turn it on. Fun times. Took some unnecessary damage though. But once again, fun times. Alright, you can terminate. So yeah, it does that. And then it does that. Lovely. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going why. to help you stay alive. Just a little further. So I even be in here? 
Probably not. My head was a waste. Wait, why do I have one of these shoes? No. Towers? No. Nah, we don't need to use it. That shell, though. Huh? Wait, these bots. Wait a second. That shell. Apparently not. The anatomy tests. We're going to do the rooms update to the new test plan. Configurations are as follows. Hair fat, copycat, spooky action. Hey, if only take a day we were over into the memory drive. Well, manipulation of the research department. Go to the trauma center and grab the key card to his cabin office by. I'm sorry you'd be more but hours we would lose the ship. Someone else finds that data. Interesting. By the way, if you can play your way, you can search for the key card or find an alternative way. Just because bow turn of roots. Huh? Wow, I picked the right one. Uh. Surprising. You gave yourself off against you. You should have given yourself. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Faking a chair and a chair is a dead sign. I was saying, I'll send you the white paper out to Morgan Road. It's a natural version of grain, and your scale from a neural mod would similar to the way your brain creates new memories. I've had. It's impossible for now to separate the changes the mod makes from the norm memory formation. I'm going to strip the neural mod that makes you play piano for uh, Gustav. Let it reset your brain back to the moment before you first installed it. Learn more is my pristine to receive the prototype neural mod. That means going way the hell back. Hence the apartment sim. You are dedicated to the science talking sim. Yes, or you are dedicated, right? So basically, what they did is like they just saw a bunch of neural mods to us to test things. And then they yanked them back out, and we'd forget everything. We replay the whole apartment simulation. We'd go back and do the same thing over. Then yank them back out. At least we forget everything, otherwise we'd probably go insane from that. If we aren't insane already. See, like a good mimic thing would be if they turned into one of those pile one of those crumpled papers. That would be a good mimic play. <laughs> Because then it would be like, oh, wait, what? The paper's attacking me. Apparently there's an error on this one. We don't have hacking, so we can't get into it. It sucks. Because who knows what's on that? There's the thing. Um, do, 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 do. Nothing. There's a key. So we have. Here are the, the results from today's personnel test. I'm seeing some drift over the last few trials compared with previous results. This isn't the first time. Let out no no reason to tell this is pasted below for reference. Hey, it's like why Hurt last time. Oh yeah, first the fat man. Turn around at this point, Morgan's instructions and bearing are very to gain useful results. Not to say nothing of the long-term damage will likely infect <laughs> from the constant neuromind installation removal. Time again, why we're doing the testing indefinitely? Yeah, that seems like a bad idea. Yes, I've noticed the same thing. You know I can't approach names, but there's definitely been a spike in staff in your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. That's much worse from the... Secretary staff. 
Probably keen to catch up with migraines on the stress, though. Concerned that they are not isolated, it's going to mention damage on uh, the net stretchers me. Okay, so can't take the mimic tumors yet, sadly. There's a the thing we could do. We can totally unlock this, by the way. And then we see this thing. Hi. I am totally here. That was here. a phantom. Type in Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. So that's a phantom. It's more of a humanoid thing. Doesn't really, you know... Doesn't really stealth as much as it should. Doesn't turn into, like, the mimic thing. Also, then this is why we take this route. Because there's loot. There's also a explosive canister that we could take and potentially eat at things. Of course, it all ends up at the same location. I mean, I might as well eat that to get some health back. Also, here is over time. Can't get access to apparently the scale recorder analysis. Can't loot the co coffee table or the sofa. Stuff. So, anyway, I think I'm going to leave off here. Because, hey, we made progress. Yay, progress. we started the thing so yeah so anyway hope you all enjoyed thank you all and have a nice day